So that means when you say the word hi, you're going to drop the jaw and instantly your voice will come forward as opposed to hi, hi, very big difference in sound. So look in the mirror and focus on are you dropping the jaw when you speak? It's going to help with accent. It's going to help with mumblers and it's going to help with overall clarity. Well, welcome to the inaugural episode of Impact Through Voice. I'm your host, Lisa Hugo, and I'm thrilled to embark on this journey with you to explore the power of our voices and how they can shape the world. So before we dive into the exciting world of communication and self-expression, I want to share just a little bit about myself. I've got 30 years of experience surrounding everything voice and performance. I started out as a singer-songwriter. I traveled the world as a solo artist, performing in Australia, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. So I know a thing or two about confidence, performance skills, vocal power, consistency, entertaining, and making an impact. Now, I've always had a passion for empowering others to find and develop their voices, and I've worked with singers and speakers across the globe to uncover the potential of their voices to make a lasting impact. Now, more recently, my sole focus has been on developing strong and charismatic, confident speakers. Now, throughout my career, I've witnessed the transformational power of effective communication and how it can propel us towards our goals. I believe everyone has a voice and everyone can train their voice to be more powerful, passionate, persuasive, and poised. The purpose of Impact Through Voice is simple, yet I believe it's profound. It's to empower entrepreneurs, executives, professional voice users, leaders, and speakers, just like yourselves, to elevate your impact through strategic communication mastery. We're going to dive into the art of using our voices to create change, to inspire action, and connect with our audiences authentically. Now, you might be wondering, why focus on our voices, Lisa? Well, our voices are more than just a means of communicating. They're our instruments of influence. Now, whether you're addressing a boardroom, if you're delivering a keynote, or you're having a one-to-one conversation, your voice plays a pivotal role in how your message is going to be received. Now, think about it. Your voice is, what I think, the vessel that carries your message to the world. It's not just about the words that you say, but it's how you say them. The tone, the pace, the emotion behind your words it can profoundly impact how others perceive you and your ideas. So in this episode, I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of the initial steps that you can take to achieve effective communication through your voice. We're going to start with vocal clarity and the importance of being clear when we speak. To make sure that words are easily understood is a pretty fundamental aspect of effective communication. So I want to talk about some techniques that you can use to improve your enunciation, your projection, your clarity in your speech. The first tip I'm going to give you is to drop your jaw when you speak. Now, it might sound a bit weird, but many people that I work with particularly when they're struggling with mumbling, not opening their mouth clearly when they're speaking, or a particular strong accent that sits back in the throat. And we hear things like, you know, I'm speaking very wide now, I don't know if you hear, but my mouth is going more towards the ears, and now my voice suddenly sounds blocked, and I'm not able to open my mouth as much because I'm smiling a lot while I'm speaking, which I'll get into at another point about smiling. But you can hear the change in the voice quality instantly and the difficulty then to understand the words because I'm not opening my mouth. So when you drop the jaw, think about all the R vowels. R, I, O, you're going to drop the jaw. So that means when you say the word hi, you're going to drop the jaw and instantly your voice will come forward as opposed to hi, hi, 
very big difference in sound. So look in the mirror and focus on, are you dropping the jaw when you speak? It's going to help with accent. It's going to help with mumblers and it's going to help with overall clarity. My next tip, which I give to many of my speaking clients who struggle with clarity in their voice, is to imagine that your audience is deaf and they need to be able to read your lips to understand what you're saying. And when you suddenly start to think of that, then you will over enunciate your words and you will slow down. And that's a perfect and very quick and easy way to get more clarity in your speech. Now, you might think, oh, I feel very strange when I do that. And that's because when you speak, you tend to do the opposite. You're closing your mouth and you're speaking through closed jaw. So when you drop your jaw or when you also imagine and over enunciate, imagine that people have to read your lips, you think you're being extreme. But I guarantee you, if you look in the mirror, what you consider to be extreme is probably not even on the edge of a normal, well-spoken person yet. So give that tip a try. My next point for improving the sound of your voice and becoming a more masterful speaker is to work on your vocal variety. What do I mean by that? I mean your pitch your tone, your volume. These are all dynamics. And for anybody who has an understanding of music, music has melody, it has highs, it has lows. It can invoke a certain emotion. You've got music, which is sad and music, which is happy. So if you think about this is a sad, sad voice. This is a sad, sad tone. And that's because that's on a minor minor scale. And then you've got the happy. This is a happy sound. This is a happy sound. You hear the difference. This is a sad, sad sound. This is a happy sound. Now, okay, I'm singing right now, but your voice when you're speaking and your voice when you're singing, it's the same instrument. So what you do with your singing voice, you can do with your speaking voice. We speak on melodies. We speak on frequencies. We can go high and we can go low. So if you would say, I'm really happy, but your voice is going down, you don't sound happy. But if you say, I'm happy and your voice goes up, then you're invoking that connection to the emotion. So you need to be wary of what do you do with the melodies in your voice if you want to be in control of how you're being perceived? Dynamic changes. That's how loud do you speak or how soft do you speak? And being able to change the dynamics when you're speaking is what's going to grab the attention of your listener. And then we've got things like tonality. Think of musical instruments. A musician will go out and source an instrument specifically because of the tone that that instrument has. It might be warm and rich, or it might be bright and a little bit sharper, or it might be soft and mellow. The characteristics will depend on the player. Now, your voice has different characteristics as well. Some are going to be really positive, but others might be a negative, which are going to disengage your audience. Things like a crackly voice, something where the voice is not a real proper tone like this, are tones in the voice which could annoy or distract your audience. And you might not realize that you have certain characteristics in your voice until you record yourself or ask for feedback from someone else. Other possibilities are nasality. If you've got a really nasal voice, that's going to become a bit annoying if we're hearing this all the time. Or there could be a heavy sound in your voice, like you've got a cold all the time. Or you might be very high pitched. And if you're always high pitched, then that's going to become annoying too. So you see different characteristics, different tonalities in the voice could go for you or go against you. And what I'm saying, it's not all positive or negative. You need to identify the characteristics in your voice and be able to change them up accordingly. So that's do you speak only monotone or do you have a lot of melody or do you have a very soft spoken voice or are you only loud 
These are things that you need to identify and then you can start to work on them. And lastly, I want to talk about the concept of presence. So presence is going to not only cover your voice, but it's also then talking about your body language. How do you hold yourself? How do you stand? Are you balanced over your toes and your hips or do you lean to one side? Do you sway when you speak? Do you wobble? Do you come across with hunched shoulders, which appears to be then weak and lacking confidence? So you need to look in the mirror and look at your appearance and ascertain, do you come across as being strong or weak in the way that you hold yourself? Do you maintain eye contact when you're speaking or do you look down or look away? These are things which will distract an audience. They'll also make the audience feel uncomfortable. Another aspect is how you dress. Now, if you dress in a way that you feel confident and comfortable in your outfit, that's automatically going to make you more confident and comfortable in front of an audience. Dress in a way that is going to connect with your image, your role, your profession. If you're selling kids toys, then you're not going to dress the same as you would if you're a banker. So bear these things in mind and that's going to help to establish your credibility with your audience. So I'm going to wrap this up for today. This is my first episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really excited to guide you on this journey of self-discovery, of developing your skills and helping you to transform through the power of your voice and your performance. So before we wrap up, I encourage you to subscribe to Impact Through Voice so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. We're going to have some amazing guests coming up in the future. And remember, your voice matters together we can make it count thank you for tuning into this introductory episode of impact through voice join me next time as we dive in deeper to the art of impactful communication until then keep speaking up with purpose and passion